Hey, Poo Forcers, Amy here. All right, today is Monday. I'm actually starting to feel better. And I gotta unload the Jeep so I can go get some feed for the birds. Yeah, yay me, by myself. But good thing is I'm feeling better. Um, this past, uh, the month of January actually has been really bad for us. Um, started off with everybody getting a sickness. Um, we all got the upper respiratory and the flu that went, went, went around. Started off with Donald just after Christmas. He got sick for like two weeks. Then Brayden got sick. Then my daughter got sick. I got sick. The only one that has not gotten sick is Grandma D. So let's hope she doesn't get it because it's not nice. <laughs> <clears throat> I still got a cough. The cough that never ends. But we have been neglecting a lot of little things. Um, we, because of everybody being sick, we had things happen, which I'll probably explain later. Um, we had the freeze hit. We had to move turkeys. We lost a turkey. We, um, things have just been happening left and right. So what I'm gonna do is today, I have to go get feed, so I'm gonna take you guys along and <sighs> gotta get the Jeep unloaded. Ta-da! All done. All right, now time to go get my wallet. Spend some money on the flock. All right, ran to my uh, favorite feed store. Eight bags of flock feed and some scratch. Now I gotta unload it. Ugh, I hate unloading. Who's that kitty in the window? Yeah? What's up, Marshmallow? You know you're not supposed to be doing that. Huh? You gonna meow for us? Yeah, pretty kitty. Pretty kitty. Look how happy you are to see me. Oh my goodness. And daddy's not even home. Oh, wait till I film you with daddy. Yes. Yes. So happy. Happy puppy. All right, so. Eight bags, nine bags total. I love this little cart. I really want to get a metal one, but I can only fit two bags at a time in there. <sighs> All right, you ready to go to work, Luna? Oh, turkeys are. All right, let's do this.
Yeah. I got kitty windows. Or a window kitty. Yeah. There's everybody. Hey, stupid. Stupid is our rooster, for those that don't know. And that's because he does stupid things. We got all of our ducks. Oh, but there's our boys. Look at that. I got a goose butt. Goose butt. Something going on in that house. So, ducks, no issues. Got some rain. What little pond they have. They're all right there. And then, oh, stop. Yes, it's a camera. They don't like the camera. Yeah. And then, here's my other baby. This is my pretty much my original flock. The other white one, that's Callie. One of these is brownie. I don't remember which one. <laughs> that's pretty bad. Um... I have another black sex link. I think that's the one in the gray house. Let's go check out the turkeys. All right. There they are. Hi, guys. How's everybody doing? Get it? You're not gonna get it? Huh? What? <laughs> Dork. Okay, so to let you all know what's been going on, um, I know I mentioned earlier we were all sick. Um, Donald got sick first right after Christmas. The upper respiratory lasts about two weeks. Then Braden got a little sick with the upper respiratory the following week. Then the next week, my daughter calls me. She's sick with the upper respiratory. She started getting better, but then all of a sudden, um, she then gets sick with the flu. And the whole house over there is sick because she does live um, with her boyfriend. So she goes and she goes and uh, she calls me. She's like, Mom, can I come home, please? I don't feel good. I said, sure. Um, we come come over and I do what I do, make her better. Um, then it was her father's birthday, which is my ex. And he goes to Disney, the Disney area to do some of the attractions with his family. And she goes down there feeling a little bit better, but she's wearing a mask just because she's still coughing. <coughs> As you can tell, I'm sick. Well, I'm getting over it. I just have the cough now. Well, she then, um, we get blasted with two things back to back that were really bad. Um, I believe it was a Saturday. They get a phone call and they have to leave. They were only at the Disney area for like an hour and a half in the park. And um, my ex's mother, which would be my ex-mother-in-law, um, ends up in the hospital and takes a turn for the worse. They immediately left. She packed up everything and she just left and went to Mississippi for a little over a week. Um, good news is mother-in-law's okay. Um, me and her will be making a trip up there later this year, probably in the next month or two, once we're, me and her get over this cough and, and everybody's 
doing okay. But she's out of the hospital now. She's doing really good and we are very thankful for that. Well, Sunday, the next day, Donald's um, grandfather passes away. Um, and I might be wrong. I think this was his step-grandfather, but he was close to him anyways. That was up in West Virginia. Unfortunately, Donald, we just couldn't make it um, because I was sick, he was still getting better, and then I was also dealing with at the time, my my ex-mother-in-law was really bad and I thought that I would also end up going to a funeral as well. But we didn't, thank goodness. So, since about right after thanks, or right after Christmas, we have been pushing things back and pushing things back. We've done a few things here and there, but it's been, a rough January for us. Very rough. Um, hopefully now we're gonna be back on track. Like I said, everybody is better. Um, I'm just got this cough, this cough lasts for a long time for, uh, for some reason. It's just been a bad, sicky year. And then we had the freeze and lost a few things. And I'm gonna go around and the turkeys are doing something. Anyway, and I'm gonna do a little tour for you guys in another video to show you all the new growth. Um, we had problems with the Jeep, had to get a few things fixed, new battery, new starter. Um, I love my mechanic. I needed new tires because I was anticipating making a eight hour trip to Mississippi. And, uh, <sighs> the original wheels I had on the car were pretty bald. I don't know what that beeping was. It's our new neighbors. I'm thinking it's a dog collar, like one of those invisible fence things, because it goes off all the time. Um, so he goes, You ain't gonna get you ain't gonna get out of town with those tires. <laughs> he goes, I got a set of used ones. It's a full set, but they're two inches smaller. And he gave me a really good deal for it. I was like, okay, let's go ahead and do it. I never thought about the speed. So for me to do, the speed limit around here is 70. For me to do 70, I have to do 82 in the car. So, needless to say, when we get our income tax, I'm getting new tires, <laughs> the correct size, because <laughs> I'm using an app on my phone to calculate how fast I'm going. Because <laughs> people were passing me up, and I'm like, I'm doing 70. And Donald downloads an app, and he goes, no, you're doing 55. <laughs> it's like a 11 mile, 12 mile difference. <laughs> Oh, gotta love cars. I've worked on plenty of them. I know basics, but still. Um, and then also too, during the month of January, grandma's, Grandma D's sister was also having problems too. So we, I almost forgot about that. She was in and out of the hospital too. Um, so we're just hoping February is gonna be better. I went ahead and I was able to get some sage bundles and I burnt sage, I burnt a half a roll the other day cleansing the house. And for those that don't, that you don't, that don't know, um, sage is really good at purifying, um, not only for ancient municipal purposes, but also for it's kind of like Lysol. It'll like kill the bacteria that's in the air or germs. Um, now in our household, I do believe in both Western and Eastern medicine. I want to clarify that I believe there are a lot of things that herbals and oils and things can help with. But if you're seriously hurt, seriously injured, seriously sick, 
or you need to see a doctor on a regular basis for one reason or another, do that. This just works for our family. And I have seen things help, especially with Braden having autism. You know, uh, using a diffuser helps calm him down with the right combination of oils. Um, when my daughter was sick, I did certain oils to help her breathe and to calm her cough at night. It worked. So, um, and we ate more healthy foods. We ate more of the superfoods like moringa, turmeric. We just made sure things were, you know, done the right way. But, you know, if at the same time that I was doing this, every four hours, I was given her sinus medicine. I was given, you know, at night, she took NyQuil. So, you know, I, I do a combination of both. So, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick update, let you know what's going on and let you know that um, hopefully here we're going to be planting soon. I've been analyzing the weather and I am hoping that we will have um, no more frost. Um, we're probably going to have a few really cold nights still, but I'm not anticipating frost. So I am actually going to probably this week uh, today is up to 75. Yes. It's so nice. It's so nice to see the sun. It's been so freaking gray. <sighs> Northerners, gray days. It's just, I can't handle it. It's depressing. Sorry, guys. I love y'all. I'm sorry. Um, it's supposed to be 75 today, so I'm going to spend today. I'm not going to do any of my household chores. Uh, tomorrow's supposed to be getting up into the 80s, and by Thursday, it's supposed to be 85. Um... And the nights are supposed to be in the 60s, so it's going to be oh, so nice. So nice. I love Florida. And then, uh, <laughs> but then Friday, we got more rain and another cold front coming through. But it's not going to be as bad. It's when, from what they're saying, it's supposed to be raining. So, I don't know how this weekend's going to be. It's supposed to be a nice weekend, but we'll see. Luna. Luna. What are you doing? What are you digging around? You better not be going under. You better not be going next door. You can't go next door. So, I just wanted to do that for you guys. And we got a mail call that we have to do because of all the chaos. Um, we got the mail call right before Christmas, and right after Christmas, things started going downhill for us. So. Got to do a video on that because it is way overdue and I am so excited about these seeds. They're just tickle. <laughs> All right, guys. So I will catch you on the next one. Bye.